BAM! And it's over! OW! Now they go into cool cutscene of fighting each other. And meanwhile their blood's floating everywhere and opening the seal just like Virgil had planned. However, I won the fight. What is that thing? That was slow motion a missile, by the way. Because here comes Maddie! So beat it. Shut up! Whoa. She's mad and she's got a rocket launcher. Virgil and Dante don't care, they're too busy fighting each other. I have a rocket launcher, but I'm gonna go into melee because I'm a screw. They're a lot stronger than me because I'm a little human girl and they're half demons. But going into melee seems like a good idea with my gun. Is that what you think? A foolish girl. Meanwhile, she's mad at Virgil because she thinks Virgil convinced Arkham to go all evil like. And truthfully, that's not true. Just keep sniping him with missiles. That's surprisingly effective. It may not look it, because, you know, they chopped the la their last missile on, like, four different pieces, but trust me, they can't do it to everyone. Bravo. Bravo. And here comes the most annoying character ever. So Jester! Well well Dude, you. I think all three characters should just kill him. Mary's got the right idea, Mary. except she, except he's faster. Dude! You can a from Daddy later. That is disturbing in all sorts of way. I don't know where you came from, but you don't belong here. Kill him, Virgil. Kill him with your nasty cutscene powers. Dude, you caught the sword like a samurai. That is, or was it a ninja who could catch swords? I don't remember. They tried proving that wrong in Mythbusters, and I think they did. But yeah. You have lost. It was ninjas, apparently. But it doesn't make any sense, because in Final Fantasy V, the samurai got the ability to catch swords and have a chance to block any... Whoa, where did Arkham come from? What's going on? That's a good question. Pure and innocent. Just like your mother. Pure and innocent? He's been... She has, like, guns coming out of her crotch. She's not innocent. It's true, she has, like, guns everywhere. And she's also human, so she can't take a beating like Virgil and Dante, so don't. I didn't mean a sexual beating. Oh my god. You had two amulets and Sparta's blood. You had everything you needed to unleash the evil. I told probably you before, be quiet, it's an important I like anybody who has a bigger mouth than mine. You are wounded in he has the cheap ability to dodge everything. I can do. And, you know, use... Cutscene powers, because it's a cutscene, and I'm scripted to win this fight, therefore I will, even though I'm probably not a very powerful character, considering I have no weapons. What? Arkham? What are you doing with the gun? By the way, if you haven't figured out, Arkham and Jester are the same person. Complete opposites of personality, but still. It's the same motive. Ow! You just stabbed her through the leg, man! In whose body flows with your own gun! My second thought, a bayonet and a rocket launcher is probably not a good idea. That's what she's thinking. Not be undone without your blood. It's a good thing you didn't stab her through the back. Well, besides metaphorically. If any of you had died before getting here, our little plan would have gone to waste. Anyway, Arkham and Jester are like the people behind this whole thing. And he wanted everyone to kill each other. Instead of working together against them. So in other words, this entire game has been being tricked by this freak, gay guy. Not that I have anything... Actually, I'm not calling him gay, because that is an insult to gays everywhere. I'm sorry. You can visit your dear mother. I was gonna kill Mary. Oh, come on, sting her through the face. Try me. She has the right idea. Except you shouldn't use a rocket launcher in melee. Dude, the Virgil's like, over. I've got the best voice actor in this entire game. Impressive. I expected nothing and now they're all working together. Interesting. But aren't you forgetting I guess that's what happens Virgil. when you have some annoying jester freak. The spell is broken. This is a long cutscene. What do you think will happen next? Let's Mary will be pregnant. Chaos. And who's the father, Virgil or Dante? Oh. Uh oh. Looks like the gate to the demon world is opening up after all. Dude, you're like an old man. You're not supposed to be able to move that fast. And use cheap cutscene powers like that. 
That's what I always call it, cutscene powers, when a obviously weaker enemy is able to take out stronger people. Oh, he wants to be leader of the demon world. That's that's a pretty prestigious title for one who was once human. No, Virgil, don't fall. No, Virgil fell. No, Mary fell. Oh, Dante caught her. I don't want Virgil to fall because he still has my Beowulf, and I want it. <laughs> wow, that was a snorty thing. Snorty thing. I meant to sniff, but I snorted instead. Jackie Chan deflected it with his fist and he jumped in the air and he did a somersault for Abraham Lincoln's S S S B S S rank 5000 boss bonus 7000 anyway this has been a long long episode guys 7 minutes of mission like 18 minutes of cutscenes which this should not happen but <clears throat> I'd like to thank you all for watching and keeping up with me this is Aquatic Feline bowing out as Virgil said, the clown must now bow out. Goodbye!